<clears throat> so this is when the plane travels with the wind in the same direction as the wind, but the wind, so the wind carries the plane, okay? So the aerodynamics of the plane actually, the plane basically uh, surfs, just like a surfer surfing of the, the water waves, the plane actually kind of uh, rides on the, the air waves uh, or the air currents. That's how the, the plane actually travels from one place to the other. So when the wind goes, is in the same direction as the plane, as the plane actually uh, it, it travels, the plane travels faster. And the opposite happens when the wind is against the plane, it pushes it back, which makes the plane travel, travel at a lower uh, rate, means this will be a subtraction instead of addition. Okay, there we go, so subtraction. When you travel against the wind, as you can see, it slows you down, so it, um, it decreases the, the rate or the speed of the plane by the speed of the wind. And when, if you're lucky, um, when you're traveling in the same direction as the wind or with the wind, actually the wind helps you travel faster. Same thing happens actually in the sea also with the um, boats and um, cargo ships. I don't, I don't think, uh, yeah, so the, the, the water currents actually help the, the boats uh, travel faster or the yachts or, um, so basically that helps the sailing, uh, help the sailors sail faster when you travel with the current. If you're against the current, that slows you down. Okay, this is a very important part here, okay? So we have with the wind, you travel faster, your speed increases by y, which is the speed of the, the wind. Uh, the time is given here, and this is the distance traveled. Against the wind, you're slowed down by y, so this is your speed, or the plane speed minus y. So you travel at a, a higher rate than when with the wind. And it's the same distance, okay? Same distance traveled, but the time is different. Okay, so we're gonna basically make use of this table and we're gonna turn the table into a system of linear equations, something like this. Because we do know how to solve linear systems. This is an application of solving linear systems using the, um, one of the methods, either by graphing, by substitution, or by elimination. Okay, so we will um, make our own table for the problem that we have in hand down here going to make our own problem. So we have a rate, we have time, we have distance. Now we're going to see which one we know, which one we don't know, and we're going to turn this into an equation. So this is how the equation works. You take this rate, times it by this distance, and it gives you the, the distance uh, by the time and gives you distance because the formula says rate times, uh, times time is distance. The formula we saw earlier, here it is. Distance is rate times time. Then we're gonna take the second rate times time. It will be equal to uh, 56. So this is all we need. Once we have the system, we can easily solve it, okay? Uh, the, the important part, or maybe not the hardest part, but the important part is translating the word problem into a system of equations or to something that's mathematical that can be solved. Okay, so solving strategy, read first, assign the variables, to assign variables to the, the, uh, the, the amounts that we're looking for. X is the wind of the speed, Y is the wind of the, uh, X is the, the speed of the plane, Y is the speed of the wind. X and Y, okay, so that times this by this equals D, then times this by this equals uh, the other D. You can end up with a system like this. Once you have the system, the rest is easy, solving it, uh, can be done in different ways, either by elimination, substitution, or graphing. So let's try to get this. Let's try to get our equation or system of equations by making a table like this. Okay, um, let me open the whiteboard and we're gonna work with our problem, which is number seven as Romani said. So this is our problem. So we have all the details here. Uh, we just need, actually we might not even, we might not even need a, we might not even need a system for this because we just need to find R, not both, okay? So let's open the whiteboard. Okay, 
if this is the speed of the plane and r is the speed of the wind again we said the uh, the wind will make the plane go faster or slower um if it's against the wind it's going to go slower slower so 650 is the is the speed of the plane what do we do with the r and the speed of the plane will it i mean it will uh, go slower, meaning will it decrease or increase this speed of the plane? Um, decrease. Decrease. So what's the operation between the speed of the plane and the speed of the wind? Um, R times... No, decrease. So decrease, what is decrease? Oh, so you say R take away. Take away, exactly. So decrease, so against the wind. So we make it go slower. So this is the speed of the plane. This is the speed of the wind. And what is the unit of, of uh, the speed? What do we say? What by what? I'm sorry, Professor, I didn't hear you. Uh, it, it cut the, off. Yeah, what is the, the unit for the speed? Miles per hour. Exactly, miles per hour. M per H, miles per hour. Actually, it was, it was a lot simpler than I thought. That's all, that's it. You have options there, right? So. That's it. We don't have actually to make a system out of it. Oh, you know what I thought? I thought that we had to solve it. Oh, that's it. I mean, actually, I, that, me too. I thought we had to, to do a system. That, but the question is simple. It just wants you to say what the speed is. What if the plane was traveling instead of against the wind, with the wind? What would you do with the 650 on the R? Would you add to it? That's right. Instead, if it was with the wind, that means you're going to go faster. The air current's going to carry you faster. Instead of subtracting the speed of um, the speed of the wind, you're actually going to add it like this. Let me try again. So it's going to be six six fifty plus r, whatever r might be. R could be <clears throat> whatever uh, the rate or the speed of the wind is. That's it. That's basically all for that question. This is what answers the question. But again, be careful with the question. It says against the wind. The previous one, the one you asked about uh, Romani, is with the wind. So be careful. It says with okay. the wind. Right? So I kind of got to like read carefully. That's right. Yeah. It's against, okay. it's with. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah.